How do you think people feel when they're left out? Sometimes, like, when I was left out before, I felt mad because it was a really good thing. That I, sh I should have, like, got picked or something. Well, they just picked the people that they, like, wanted to pick. So I was, like, left out of something. Well, when you're left out, you don't... Well, with me, if, I'm, if I was left out, depending on whatever you're doing, being left out isn't a good feeling. These people did something amazing and not a lot of them we don't know about. Most people only know about like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Rosa Parks, but there's other people that most people don't know about, but they also did something very big. My name is Samuel Levi Jones and I'm a visual artist. <laughs> we are on the near east side of Indianapolis in my studio. The inspiration with this piece in particular, it's a reactionary piece to a work by Gerhard Richter called 48 Portraits. His piece, there are 48 portraits of white men. It caught my attention and I was curious about, of all the important figures if one were to depict in a work, you know, why would it be all white men? And then when I learned that the source images were from the encyclopedia. I got a set of encyclopedia that so happened to be from 1972. And they are individuals that are predominantly represented are, are white men. I started thinking about those who were left out and that's where I went. The work that I have, I chose 24 black men, 24 black women that could have been imaged in the encyclopedia that year that weren't. The underexposed, which is part of the title, 48 Portraits Underexposed, is two things. The, the portraits are underexposed, literally underexposed. So they're, they're underexposed where you can barely see the faces, but there's also, you know, being underexposed in terms of information, you know, not being in the encyclopedia, not being sort of like viewed as important figures of, of history. So there's like fighting for visibility, if you will. The paper is handmade. I decided to use the paper from the encyclopedia and recycle the, the paper. So it's sort of a way of deconstructing the original content and reimagining it into something else. I could have just printed on regular paper that was provided, but there was something particular about using the original material. Portraits are digitally printed onto the sheets of paper that I made from the original encyclopedia. The ceiling from the floor is nearly 40 feet high. It's sort of in some way overwhelming. It has a different presence to it, has an overpowering presence to it, which I, I really like. It's in a great location being in the cafeteria where the kids are every day with the location too being that it's in an academic setting. Probably of all the places that I've shown, this is probably one that the most important. Look very closely, girls and boys. Look very closely. First, I just thought it was a mirror because I didn't see any faces. So after getting up close, I saw some faces. But it was like really dark. I felt uh, what they call it? Um, like they think about it and they like don't know what's called. What's it called? Uh, confused. Yeah, confused. 
If we're just looking at the art, we're not appreciating the artist or the art itself. And art, it, art takes a lot and it usually has meanings to it. Sometimes it'll take you more time to look at it, to understand it, or to see things that not a lot of people will see if they just glance at it and keep walking. You can draw a picture of how you felt. And then you'll say, 48 portraits underexposed by Samuel Levy Jones made me feel blank because blank. My name is Beth Pohl, Miss Pohl. I am a first grade teacher here at Edison School for the Arts. Edison is an urban school. We have about 65% African American population, 11% Hispanic, uh, the remaining Caucasian mixed race as well. So arts integration is basically using arts to teach our basic curriculum. So rather than supplementing arts here or there, Edison really strives to incorporate it in all of our curriculum, all of our teaching, whether it's dance, theater, movement, art. So it's really putting arts into the instruction more so than, like I said, supplementing. 48 Portraits Underexposed by Samuel Le Levi Jones made me feel happy because it was great. It was great? Okay, what do you mean by that? Tell me a little more. It was great because there was different pictures and when Here. when you are far away, you can't really see the faces, but when you get really close to it, you can see the faces much better. I think it's been very important to some of them. And they've had pretty complex conversations about it. But we had a speaker come in and tell us about some of the people. <clears throat> I am Deborah Asante, the storytelling woman. <laughs> now I'm here to tell you the story of that artwork. This piece of work did not capture me. At first, I, I was even angry. I was like, what? Well, this is too dark. I can't see it. Huh. And I turned away from it. But because they're hard to see, you have to decide that you're going to discover who is in this exhibit. People like Madam C.J. Walker or Bessie Smith, Bessie Smith in particular. Bessie Smith is a, was a blues singer. Yes, I'm mad and I have the right to be. Now, I'm no Bessie Smith when it comes to voice, but I have her nerve. <laughs> so I find inspiration from her. And so the more that I stop and look and try to find her and recognize her in a different way, because I know this cropped picture of her face is gonna make me see her differently. Hello. 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 How are you guys doing? Good. My name is Theon. You can just call me Theon. I don't need to be called Hi, Mr. Theon. Hi, guys. I'm going to make a face, and I want you to tell me what you think I'm thinking about, okay? Ready? Set. Go. Uh, bored. bored? Mad? Mad? I'm going to say mad. Frustrated, okay. So wearing your feelings on your face makes it a lot easier to communicate how you feel, right? It's a thing called not, I want you guys to repeat after me, okay? okay. Nonverbal. Nonverbal. Communication. Communication. What we're going to do today is we're gonna focus on the same art piece, right? But we're gonna focus on something a little different, okay? We are going to talk about how we think the person or the people in the pictures might feel, right? We're gonna go over here and we're gonna pick a picture and I want you to tell me everything you can possibly see in that picture, okay? And then when we get back to the class, I want you to remember things about that face that you guys picked, and then we're gonna talk about those faces, okay? The man who has a mustache, he looked like he was mad because he didn't win something. I noticed when I looked at it, the man, it looked like he was sad. The artist is trying to say that they're superheroes that save the countries and save the world and who brings people together for communities. Like here, we're together now in like a school where a lot of people from different countries can come to a school and learn about different people and how they did stuff. As seeing art actually displayed 
that's not any that's not from the school and outside, because I'd never heard of this man at all until uh, they came until they, they put the whole thing up and we just started talking about it this week. Knowing about some people, I've heard about Malcolm X because my uncle keeps joking about how I look like him, something like that. But I don't really know everything about him. I don't know who he is. All I know is he's an African American male who. So, who made his mark on something. So now I am really intrigued in it. I want to know way more about it. We were having a conversation earlier sort of about the idea of this project. So this idea of like disrupting a space. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this and I hope that maybe it will lead to other things and I think you know more programs like this should exist so uh, that, that young people have an opportunity to experience work. Us kids, we don't really think about like the struggles of people Back then, we just see it as, as history, but we don't really think about it. And you stand closer, and I think that's what he wants you to do, stand closer to see them and understand them more and pay more attention to them.